Welcome, Afrinom is an HTC Desire 20 Pro and today I'll show you a couple tweaks and tricks you can do on this device. So starting off we're gonna begin with the dark mode which um, can be found in the notification panel right over here. Or actually, I think this is something else, yep, it looks like this is something else. So uh, apart from the night light which just makes everything yellow, we can find the actual dark mode under the display se section and there it is. So in here it's called the dark theme, as you can see it turns everything simply dark. That also extends to majority of the pre-installed apps. Now moving on to the next one, it's going to be split screen. Now this is a simple uh, feature that allows you to use two different apps at the same time. Now best use for it I would say is using YouTube and Chrome where you can listen to music for instance and actually still browse the web. And you do it by simply going to recent once your app is open tapping on the icon itself and then going to split screen. Now whichever app you open in split screen first that is going to be the one that goes to the top and from there you can simply open another one. Now by default it shows you the um, opened apps that are running in the background but you can simply tap on the home and open whichever app you want. With an exception uh, some apps don't actually work in split screen. Things like camera will completely quit out uh, split screen and just go to being the main thing. And I can quickly show that by just tapping on camera and there you go. App doesn't support split screen and it just kind of quits it. Then moving on to the next one, it's going to be the simple animation speed. Now this will, this option usually isn't actually visible anywhere in the phone unless you have it enabled the developer options. Now to enable those you will need to go into about phone and then build number. As you can see, for me, it tells me no need, I'm already in developer mode. Uh, but for you, once you tap on it seven times, it will enable it. And then the developer options can be found under system, I believe. Yep, there we go, developer options. Now from here, you wanna scroll down uh, lower, past like halfway, and you will see the three options right here. Window animation scale, transition animation scale, and animation duration scale. Now you can set each one of them to uh, either half speed which will increase the speed of the animation by basically twice as fast or you can also change it to be off so you tap on it and choose whichever one you want i'm gonna go to half speed as an example for the beginning and you will see that this is now significantly faster now if i go to off well there will be no more animation as you can see there is literally no animations of up sliding down, fading in out, or stuff like that. It just instantly appears and disappears. Then moving on to the next one, that's gonna be the gesture navigation. So because well, we live in 2020, um, and if you haven't actually used uh, gesture navigation, then probably have a really old device. But this is a way better uh, way of navigating through this device, I would say. It substitute those old outdated buttons on the bottom with something more well, natural I would say and it's enabled by going to the system then gestures and system navigation and go to gesture navigation now, as you can see there is a animation on how it works um, it creates this little pill or bar at the bottom which you can swipe up to go home swipe up and uh, hold to go to recent and then swipe from the sides to go back which honestly the side swipes are the best you can access them from any side and when you're holding the device it really helps you out when you're holding to swipe from just from side instead of trying to reach on the bottom so really i really like these options and the navigation is just amazing and then moving on to the last option, which is a more of a security option, it is going to be the screen pinning. Now by default it's going to be uh, disabled, so let's go into the settings and security, scroll down, advanced and screen pinning, as you can see it's off, enable it. And here you have the option below to ask for unlock pattern before unpinning, I would suggest to enable that as well. This will allow you to basically pin and unpin the window um, or when you unpin it will lock the device. Let me quickly check if I have any kind of pattern and I do. So the way it would work is you go into recent, you tap on the icon again and as you can see now there is a pin option. You tap on the pin, 
screen pinning is or screen is pinned keep uh, uh, this keeps in a view until you unpin it, swipe up and hold to unpin so top and got it and as you will see if I try to un well leave this it will allow me to stay within the app itself but it will not allow me to actually leave this app and as you can see it said to unpin it swipe up and hold which lacks the device because it wants to unpin so just for protection it lacks the device so the person that would for instance try to unpin it if you lend somebody your phone and pin the app they will also need to know your pattern and if they want to go somewhere where they're not supposed to and once you put in the pattern as you can see you can simply leave so this would conclude all the tweaks and tricks that i want to share and if you found this very helpful don't forget to hit like subscribe and thanks for watching